Okay. Thank you. Okay. So then we'll come back. We'll uh, third topic will be you know classification of attacks. What all the attacks are there, and information warfare, and we'll detail talk about kill chain. So there are seven stages of kill chain attacks. Whenever the attacker wants to attack any target, so definitely he has to come across all these seven stages. Okay. Then what techniques and te techniques and uh, tactics and techniques procedures he is following it. You know before you want to target and attack anyone. So again, adversary behavioral identification. What all the adversary is nothing but an attacker only. Okay. An indicator of compromises, like what all the methods he is trying to use to compromise it. You know, uh, you might aware of is that you know yet attacker is going to steal your credentials or he do, he, do, he wanted to interrupt your services or something like that. Category of indicator of compromises. Okay, so again in the first topic only hacking concepts, ethical hacking concepts. So these are the you know names are different but the objective is same. So how the attacker is going to you know compromise the target. So the, in this first module would be a bit you know boring. Uh, that means it's a more theoretical only. We don't have practical much. Okay. From second module. From the second module, I mean to say that you know footprinting and reconnaissance from here the real practical starts so where we need to you know set up a mission we need to install certain tools so that we will be technically and practically also strong hope i am clear till now is there any doubts yeah john can i go ahead Can I proceed? Yeah, uh, yeah, okay, okay. American, you okay? Uh, American, yeah, are you fine. there? Okay, yeah, 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 me. Good. Yeah. Okay. So let me share you one small, you know, which I promised that I will cover other topics. I, I already pasted in the WhatsApp chat. You can see that what other contents, you know, you know, I'm going to cover it. So there are few things which I would like to you know cover in this session. Let me share the doc first. Okay. okay. Hope you can see that screen. Can you confirm me? Yeah. Yeah, good. See. Yeah, could, could you send this to us, please? Yeah, definitely. After this session, yeah. you will get it this. Okay. Okay. So basically, any I know laptop or desktop or mobile, even any digital world you are interacting, you are using for your banking purpose, or you might using for some other gaming purpose or anything. So this is the core object to core structure of the, you know, mission. That means user is nothing but us. When we are using applications, any websites, banking sites or gaming sites or anything all comes under applications okay then operating system windows operating system linux operating system or unix operating system any operating system even you call it as ios also on operating system so it will built on hardware so physical hardware nothing but physical hardware so if you look at here the hardware on top of operating system will be there on top application there on top user is there so user is interacting to the application the application again interacting to the operating system the operating system is laying on hardware this is the core structure of general you know architecture of the any digital interaction mm -hmm. okay okay let's say john is here sitting and uh, american is sitting here okay so how the data is communicating basically let's say you type some www google.com or microsoft.com or any website you just entered into entered on your website browser so how the data transmit basically the first the that will go to the application layer that means 
here okay the application layer then it will go to the presentation layer so these are the seven layers where your traffic should pass it from here to again from down to up to reach the john let's say american is sitting here he type the data first go to the applications uh, then go to the presentation is nothing but the data will encrypt with certain keys then session the session will establish between you and uh, john then transport layer the data should transmit from here to here so there are two transport protocols like tcp and udp that we are going mm -hmm. to discuss okay then it will go to the network network player is nothing but a rotor switches how to go that data where to go that. the path defines here network layer then again the data splits into data data nothing but a frames in the data link layer that uh, data link layer the data call it as a frames the frames again it go to the bits like binary like 0 1 1 0 so again it's a physical layer nothing but a cable connection like rj11 rj35 25 the cables will be there right physical cables mm -hmm. so electrically from application to come down to physical again it will the other side will be again the physical to data link data to network network to transport transport to session session to presentation presentation to application let's say american send some email to you the email again pass it to all these layers and will reach it to here in the outlook he sent through the outlook again you will receive it in the outlook let's say or you can call it as a gmail or any other emails so any traffic it is going from one pc to other pc so it it is a standard it, it the data will transmit like this hope i am clear here yeah okay again we talked about seven layers like we said that okay initially first let's say american uh, type it some www.google.com so application layer the end user so what protocols using http or https or ftp you may browsing it you may sending some file file transfer protocol or you may chatting on in google chat or you know or any facebook chat or anything that definitely it has to use irc internet relay chat or if you want to take the remote access as a search okay then it required the port number is 23 again dns so the traffic we again go to the dns dns is the domain uh, names to ip ip2 names that means whenever the traffic is coming it will come to the dns as ip address so in the ip address the data packets and everything comes it will translate it into your digital like names so you you learn more about this what is dns okay then it will go to the second part your presentation layer syntax layer the other name of so what it will does let's say you type something and data should not be you know open data should not be visible so definitely they need a secure layer secure socket layer ssl or ssh even if you are using outlook imap or ftp anything the presentation is nothing but a formatting okay then the session layer the send to api sockets and means like session is nothing but the connection is established between american and john okay so transport layer as we said there are two type of transported transports are there one is tcp UTP. and the other one udp, UDP. Yeah. yeah so again it is a very vast you know yeah. so again every time there would there would be one interview questions what is tcp and udp give me the difference definitely the question would come mm -hmm. okay and then packets so ip is packets and ip in security packets so everything is happening the network data link as i said the data here call it as a frames now so in the in this layer the data become frames how many frames received on how many frames reach to the mm -hmm. other side so in the, here only the switches and bridges works okay and then physical layer physical structure the coax or co fiber optical fiber or wireless you, you might using your wi-fi even if you are connect, come, connecting to the internet also that will also it should pass all these seven layers so wireless you might using or hubs or repeat uh, repeaters or any other any other method like a st stair links so it's a directly the network coming from the satellites right 
so even any technology if you are using you should pass all these layers okay again we already you know i just explained to you there are you know uh, this is the basic structure of user interacting the application the application is laying on operating system the operating system is laying on hardware so away again so for the better understanding i just want to refer that one the application layer presentation session layer all falls under software the software is nothing but application layer again transport layer uh, falls on osi that is operating system look at the hardware layer network layer data link layer physical layer all falls under hardware layer that means here sender or receiver same but they split it into three ways the seven layers split it into three ways application presentation into software and transport layer is into osi and rest three layers falls under hardware layers is it clear here yeah okay so i'm just giving one url for your referral for your study purpose just go through that what is presentation you you will you will you know learn more bit about that layer that's all i'm just pasting in the chat okay okay so you might heard of this you know network topology are you familiar with this yeah okay yes Great. yes we are we are super so let's come back to our theory part then okay see we'll go by page by page so it is theoretical bit boring and uh, one time learning is not sufficient after we, we you know even i gone through this all the contents and with the example also still it requires more attention to read more then only you will get a clarity about what all the attacks and what is the cyber security actually so this first module itself talk about rest of the uh, other modules so bit uh, boring but it's very important i mean to say okay, okay. understanding the elements of information security i will go by word by word okay so in this module it covers the information security overview okay and cyber kill chain the seven stages hacking concepts ethical hacking concepts there are the good actor and bad actor will be there so that even there are basically three types three type of actors we'll talk about black white and gray black is a ba bad actor white is a good actor and gray is a good and bad person so all these the categories we'll talk here ethical hacking concepts if attacker is try, uh, doing then he is a black okay information security controls okay let's say the attack is coming what all the controls are there what all the tools are there to you know prevent it or detect it again information security laws and standards let's say if i want to save the organization from the attacks where to refer what all the standards should i proceed it okay so elements of information security so you can see the screen right where you, it's not yeah 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 okay. yeah yeah good so let's say information security state of well being information frag infrastructure in which the possibility of theft tampering and disruption of information and services low and tolerable let's say see any data if you want to prevent from the attack or protect from the attacker so we should follow these are the basic key structures confidentiality assure the information is accessible only those authorized to have access here i can give the example of your gmail or any email account if you access you if you whoever having the credentials those people can only you know can view it or you can access it right the confidentiality is there it will not allow other than you know any other person the only credentials whoever is having they are and they are allowed to view the emails or even let's say in or best example is pen drive 
like the pen drive is containing some data so whoever is having the pen drive they re, they are having the data so if you giving to somebody then it is a break so the confidentiality talk about authorized persons to have access authorized is nothing but in the scenario outlook scenario in the gmail scenario we'll talk about the credentials even i give the second example of pen drive okay integrity trustworthy of data or resources in terms of preventing improper or unauthorized changes let's say you got one email uh, american sent to john but you haven't you know read but uh, after you logged into john you saw that that email was already read by somebody so that is a integrity failure so the data mm -hmm. somebody has you know ma ma mass created that means you are, when when you in when american is writing some his credentials somebody might be sh shoulder smurfing attack so somebody saw that or using that credentials he logged into you saw that email content what it is there so integrity is nothing but you know if if changing the data is also comes or somebody might read your email that is also comes in the integrity okay then availability availability should be available 24 cross 7 let's say we are using a gmail so whenever we access you might access in the morning or afternoon or evening or in the midnight the data will be available okay so that is called it as a availability any time data should be available so assurance the system's responsibility for delivering storing or processing informations are accessible when required by the authorized users so always remember so whenever you are attending interview they call they give the what is cia confidentiality you have to protect protect your data and integrity the data should not be tamper or alter changed okay availability the data should be there 24 cross 7 and then this is authenticity so what data let's say there are multiple files and uh, you and john have, uh, allowed to take only two files access so authenticity do you have the you know rights to see that file so that comes under authenticity refer to characteristic of combination documents any data that ensures the quality of being genuine you de your data being accessed by you only not somebody okay non repudiation that means it is not you know saying that have have not you know done that so it is something like that you purchased something you got the bill okay you when you are going to any shopping complex or any petrol banks you definitely will get a bill so you can't say that okay i purchased but i haven't i did not you know i did not pay the amount i i am not the paid person or i didn't borrow it why because the bill itself will talk about okay you bought these many items and this whatever things you bought you know by yourself only not somebody else so non repudiation something like it will give the authenticity saying that trustworthy person only bought it so a guarantee that the sender of a message cannot later deny having sent the message and that the recipient cannot deny having received received the message that means similar like this only we cannot say that we haven't you know we haven't bought that thing so we have we are having the bill so but make sure only these three things three things three elements should remember confidentiality integrity and availability authenticity non repudiation something where you cannot cheat you have uh, you cannot say that okay i did not bought that item so basically you have the proof okay motives goals and objectives of information security attacks so what motivates the attacker to do the attack okay actually are they you know sponsoring by somebody or they have want to you know prove their self or they want to frame their name into to become a popular so there should be some motive right so motives goals and objectives of information security attacks okay a motive originates out of the notion that the target system stores or process something valuable 
or this leads to the threat of an attack on the system might be the attacker might be wants to steal the money from that bank account so that could be also one motto okay attacker try various tools and attack techniques to exploit vulnerability in a computer system its security policy and controls in order to fulfill their motives so exploit is nothing but let's say there is a you know patch patch nothing but you know every applications required some changes so the gap so when you not updated your uh, patches it is a risk and it become a vulnerability so the vulnerability become a you know chance to attack or exploit your applications so that is one point they are talking about exploit vulnerability in a computer system its security policy and controls in order to fulfill their motives so in that case we have to be proper security control should be there on the uh, defensive side okay so motivates motives behind information security attacks so what all the areas possibility areas of attackers can do these are the areas disrupting the business continuity your business might be on distract to or stealing information and manipulating data okay your information or your password stealed and uh, after you logging into you might send somebody um, email on behalf of you okay creating fear and curse by disrupting critical infrastructure so your infrastructure might be not support let's say you are going to withdraw money but a atm machine is not you no know, operatable or it is not supporting so that might be the mission got you know attacked by somebody just for the you know example i am giving causing financial loss to the target you know, they might you know uh, defame your organization or any financial sector something like that propagating religious and pol political beliefs so somebody politically motivated or some uh, propagating religious you know, you know they they want to propaganda their own um, things or ethics or anything unethical things achieving a state's military objective let's say if you heard that russian ukraine war initially the war started from the cyber security that means okay the physical war whatever it is happening but russia started uh, targeting about all the organizations and all the services student you know even the uh, electrical even the internet services also shut down for certain places in the ukraine even the ukraine cyber uh, cyber uh, adversary also tried same way to disrupt the you know russians internet services even ukraine recently also you know attacked one of the you know one of the best or one of the top banks in the russian so achieving states military operation that could be military operations okay damaging the reputation of the target if they want to you know defame your name in the market so they can say is that okay if you remember that 2012 some sometime yahoo got hacked and yahoo said that oh no no we didn't get the hack so only little bit only data we lost but after analyzing detail investigation they came that saying that almost 60 tv data they got compromised that means most of the users credentials was compromised taking revenge it could be you know motive of they want to take revenge demanding ransom so this is the latest you know demanding field where they encrypt your data you cannot even log into your pc so if if you want to log into your pc then you will they will demand a ransom money or some other type transactions so that they will unlock your data hope i'm clear these are the you know few of the motives of these attackers okay mm -hmm. yeah then again coming back to classification sorry passive classification of attacks there are the these are the attack types like you know passive attacks passive attacks to do not tamper the with the data and involve intercepting and monitoring network traffic and data flow on the target network i just show you one screen since everything you know since been you know talking talking i just want to showcase you one picture Okay. 
so we can see only this screen right the word document yeah yeah thing. yeah okay so whatever can you see this uh, classification of attacks the screen also only one screen you are able to visit no only one screen the http get index.php okay. i'm trying to you know, view the both the screens uh, so that it's easy to understand give me one second i will let okay let's see so we we just discussed about passive attack right tampering with the data involved in intercepting monitoring network traffic and data flow on the target network example in, including sniffing and avast traffic so i just show you one picture here okay can you view can you see the screen what is spoofing attack that's what we yeah. see yeah correct that's what i want to show okay basically see the point we discuss is the passive attack is nothing but a snoofing the sniffing or man in the middle attack user is real the original communication is going to server to get some information let's say he some, he did some googling and the google page is going to get it but injected by attacker shown the user this one okay but this is the real page basically the communication is sniffing by attacker okay just for example okay so that was the passive attacks so there are passive attacks types are sniffing is avast dropping so whoever is in the middle of the traffic or intercepting your traffic then it comes in the passive attacks what is active attack active attacks tamper with the data in trans transit or disrupt the communication a service between the system to bypass or break into secured system similar like this so he sniff and the attacker is trying to you know he communicating to the servers and the other best example is let's say client was requested a google page or any any yahoo page or gmail so that directly we we as we discussed before the traffic whatever the traffic you know the the whenever the we enter the page or enter in the google chrome first it will reach it to the dns server so the dns server will get it that real website but what it is happening the client requested a page but the dns server was got compromised and it is going to the fake website fake not website. the real website it's a we just spoke na it's a no, say attack. okay okay yeah okay it's a active attack okay close in attacks close in attacks are performed when the attacker is in a close physical proximity with the target system or network in order to gather modify or disrupt this access to information example include social engineering such as avas dropping shoulder smurfing shoulder surfing and dumpster driving so it's like a similar one basically shoulder smurfing somebody might be behind you they might you know read your data or your passwords similar to sniffing only but it's a you know they intercept your data basically okay insider attack a closed in attacks means that attacker is uh, in your premises within your the premises. within the company uh, ah yeah. within the company let's say you are you know access your uh, internet in an airport or any railway station who knows that your traffic is going to through any device right network devices he might be there in between so that also give the one example as a closed in attacks insider attacks insider attacks involve using privileged access to violate rules or intentionally cause a threat to the organization information or information system example include theft of physical device or plain planting key loggers or back doors or malware so we we i just gave the example of yahoo how much data they stole okay 
the other ta tampering is you see the in the atm machine they might inbuilt key loggers the key loggers nothing but it will capture your entries like you meant you might give the password of four letters one two or three four something like that or what is three six so it will capture their activity so that is called a key loggers even backdoors after capturing your data it will send it to some other server or some other place so otherwise malware could be there malware is nothing but a you know it's a bot it can do anything based on the scripting it made it will do the it will do the disruption it may say that only capture the passwords it will capture it it says that okay go to the other pc it will go to the other pc it may says that so it's a various type of malware are there even day to day we don't know how many malware are coming into the market so it's very challenging to you know identify the malware there are types of malware are there we'll discuss that one okay theft of physical device it could be somebody might store you know steal your data uh, your, your pen drive or your laptop or anything after got it they can you know unplug your hard drive and they copy the data so that can be also it comes insider attacks okay distributor attacks occurs when attackers tamper with the hardware or software prior to installation sorry attackers tampered with the hardware or software and its source or in, in transit so it's basically a disruption or distribution attack some something you know uh, like this you are the victim attacker is communicating through multiple system to disrupt you or consume your network so he simply you know says that okay get the request of google google.com let's say you, you hosted some google or say that some american.com so the bots continuously get the request try continuously ask the you know give me the access give me the access the attacker is it is three only let's say if it is 10000 or more than 1 lakh what will be the case of the source definitely it will went down it cannot serve this many people at a time right so there there might be some limit so that is a distribution attacks so these are the again attacks are performed on the target network to exploit the information in transit transmit transit means when the data is traveling from one source to other source like data is traveling from from here to server so this is called when the data is in transmitting then they call it a transmit uh brahmi you know the the normally the traffic is always in transit the transit the, tra the traffic has to go from going from one point to another is always um in transit yes correct yeah. again there are three types of data encryption should be there three areas one is when the data is transit or when the data is on the computer that means rest they call it other technical term when the data is lying on your pc that is a okay. in rest in when rest the, in rest when the data is in use when you are using your data let's say you are opening some files you are doing something so in use data so all this in these three areas encryption should be there so that means the data should be protected from the attackers okay they penetrate and infect the target internal networks gain access to remote system to compromise internal network so when the attacker compromised through remote your computer using that computer he can compromise inside other systems also so examples of active attacks they are giving denial of service attacks just now you know we, we just showed that this is the denial of service attacks it will not serve why because we already consumed that uh, bandwidth of the victim okay it can serve at a time three members okay uh, one member i send one member it says no i can serve at least two members at a time we send two members. if you send more than two it is a overwhelm it's a you know overhead to the victim so that is called a denial of service attacks bypassing protection so they can bypass any protection like you might install your antivirus but still they can bypass similar like this incoming topic and it crosses your firewall and bypassing switches okay 
how network packet broker the other tools ips ids they can you know bypass the traffic or malware attacks such as virus worms ransomware there are types of malwares are there so worm is nothing but it can replicate as it is let's say one raw one worm is there it can replicate same similar type of worm to another pc and viruses also types are there ransomware is encryption type of method okay modify of information like we talked about in the integration cia part spoofing attacks they can the spoof your communication in between similar way they can spoof you your communication okay replay attacks this is also they they using they are using like you know similar one second here the replay attacks nothing but is sniffed your communication the attacker communicated from his laptop to server so it's a replay attack and password based attacks he might got your password so yeah otherwise he guessed your passwords so session hijacking your sessions can be hijacked man in the middle attack also similar way somebody in there in the middle so when the communication is happening from source to destination he can intercept so it, this is when the sniffing is happening they call it is a man in the middle attack dns rp arp poisoning so that means when the dns we just talked about one second yes dns poisoning nothing but when the request supposed to reach to the real website but it is going to attacker fake website so this hmm. is called a dns poisoning okay compromise compromise key attacks so hope you guys following or getting bored yeah no it's me i'm following we follow i'm following okay good so compromised key attacks they might got uh, you might see that there are window windows keys are available in the web so so using the those keys also can be utilized like firewall ids ips uh, yes so there is a technology of security control ids intrusion detection system if somebody is inside or trying to get into access it is detection so it will detect so it it, it has separate device compliance appliance so ids will be there it will watch your switch logs so whenever any server or any other servers or corporates or lans are accessing it will be there on your switch based on the network traffic it will capture it it will say that okay this could be the it could be the attack it will alarm you so it is a ids so the same way ips is also works ip is also one of the appliance device again it will be there on switch or anywhere you can install it but it it works on the network level so any traffic it found suspicious immediately it will block it so it is called a intrusion prevention system ips Bravo. yeah Bravo. please are we are we gonna uh, learn in this course how to set up keys for ids yes you are going to learn I, I, many times it comes the ids ips technologies but mm. overall we are just walking through it that's all yeah okay. okay profiling is nothing but fake profile or anything arbitrary code execution uh in the password box let's say in the web server or in the database server they may allow some special characters like rather password they allowed und operator hash or ex ex exclamation letter any special character if they allowed so that is called a arbitrary code execution the password easily can be cracked so just for example i'm giving privilege escalation somebody steal or stole your passwords or backdoor access you we don't know our species or any other you know machines will be in the backdoor to the uh, attackers so attacker might be controlling it cryptographic attacks what are the cryptographic attacks there are cryptographic encryptions are there symmetric asymmetric 
okay sql injection though there is there will be you know injection can be possible on the sql and cross site scripting ssc is a cross site scripting dictionary uh, directory traveler attacks whenever the attacker knows the where the exactly default file path for the windows let's say everyone in the windows c drive will be there in the c drive programs files will be in the program folder so using the default path he can directly travel the attack on it so exploiting exploitation of application and operating systems so these are the few of the attackers area where you can compromise it even theft of physical device social engineering social engineering where the social website of facebook or twitter or anything he he will uh, roam here and there he will try to capture as much information of your, about you and he will uh, beautifully will write a email to you let's say you are a traveling guy so he will say that okay this much discount we have please click on that below link to register it so this kind of uh, attacks call it a social engineering or data theft and uh, spoliation so data theft is nothing but a to stole your data and we may demand you or pod sulfuric so planting key loggers back doors malware there are a few areas so, okay information forward okay uh, so after this topic uh, today anyway i am going to take one hour because the time constraints are there okay after finishing this topic we'll discuss more okay so there are two you know technologies always busy one is defensive information where the we are defend from the attacks the offensive technologies like you know always trying to compromise us it's a offensive technology refer to all strategies and actions designed to defend against attacks on ct is internet so let's say you are using you know defense computer or any server or anything like prevention deterrence and alerts detection emergency preparedness response if any attacks happen what is your preparedness or what is the response uh, what is the emergency time to take the result it so how many alerts we get it or deterrence is what is there okay prevention what prevention method you are taking so again the offensive is always attacking are there you know trying uh, going trying to compromise web application attacks or web server attacks or through malware they going to compromise us or are they you know sniffed us like you know man in the middle attack they used system hacking so are they used system hacking through the remote so these are the two areas where defense always talk about the controlling and prevention detection and response offense always talking about attacks okay so coming back to our class uh, see actually this time is bit difficult for me can you can we you know take it what is the time there now the time here is 12:21 in the afternoon okay can what we... time is he over there what time India, is he over there 5 pm 5 or 5 pm know. yeah well all right so if you don't mind can we post uh, like can i take your class in your time 5 pm or 6 pm something like that why because it's you know working for us in saturday also so uh, I... what 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 time exactly you want the, the class to be in uh 6 6 pm of yours uh 6 pm i don't know exactly 6 pm in indian time uh, what time is no, that, um... so uh, for me it's 11 pm night okay you you want the class to be at 11 pm your time yes on, i can on manage. saturday yeah on saturday, on saturday. yes and that should uh, be half one here that should be half one half one yeah hmm. you mean for next saturday yes next saturday and uh, the class would be next class onwards it will be two and half or three hours be ready and by that time i will give the some setup installation and everything you please go through yeah. that and download the setup uh go through what exactly set up the application installation is should be there on your laptop so that you can also do the practical 
or what you yeah, say you, you know, are you going to send us the um you know what to do yeah just for setup are you going to do that uh, practical or you just want to listen only no you know we we, we, we we're in here okay we're in here for we're in here for um you know um the practical as well not only just listening to you like oh, great okay great then i will give you the setup you uh, that means uh, installation method you please install it i will share it in the whatsapp itself okay okay Any you can ping me whenever you are installing even during this week also i can help you out to you know okay that task. okay what, what, what application exactly do you what want exactly yeah uh there is a kali linux backtrack like we, we, go, we, we go we go we go we go we go kali linux installed already super super then we can do some practicals on that okay and other than that i have some other tools like a foot uh see if you he, see here uh, see the screen. Okay, I'm just footprinting and reconnaissance. They have some tools. Okay, I will recommend you to. So, what we'll do, we'll install before the class starts. That means you have to install during this week only, so that when the next class comes, we can do the practicals. Okay. 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 I will give the list of the tools which you need to install it. Anyway, Kali Linux mm -hmm. already you are having. The other tools I will update you in the WhatsApp. Okay. Okay, is that clear? Yeah, yeah that's, that's fine. fine. Super. Okay. So even the what about the times? Can we you know give me your six p.m. of hours? For me, it's eleven p.m. night. For me, okay, I can so, manage it. So is that six p.m. Is it is it is it is it is it better for you? Yes, better for me. After office okay. hours, I can do it very well. Okay. So we want you to be comfortable when you, um, you know, if there is anything, you just let us know. You understand? Not like, okay, you know, okay, um, sure. doing something out of, uh, yeah. So. Uh, Otherwise, give me the 5 p.m. of hours. So it will be 11, 10 p.m. for me. So why are you saying you want 6 p.m. or 5 p.m.? Mm -hmm. Based on your availability. Five or six, you tell me then. Based five, on or six. five is fine. Five is uh, it's gonna be here. If it's five over there, here uh -huh. it is half 12. Okay, yes, after okay, then let's fix for the 5 p.m. Then for me, it's a 10 p.m. I'm okay with that. We'll go with that timing. Okay, so half 12, half 12 next week, right? Yes, next week. And are okay. you available on Sunday also? Um, yeah. It depends. No, not every Sunday, but you know, if you let us know, um, in advance, you know, if you let us know in advance, that'll be that'll be better. Like you know, next Sunday, next mm -hmm. Saturday and Sunday for me, that's fine. You know, uh, next Sunday and Saturday, that's fine for me. Okay, then let's conduct. Uh, let's be there in Saturday, Sunday also. Next class. Sunday at what time? Sunday at what time? Same time. We'll continue. Five p.m. Five. Oh. Would ah. that be okay for you, American? Yeah, after all, yeah, it's fine. After all, yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's yeah. uh, come back to our topics. Okay. Uh, few more are there. Let's complete this one. Then mm -hmm. it won't be, <laughs> this topic will be a bit more, as I said that. No, no problem at all. I just re re remember to send us the, um, you know, so that, you know, we can read, read it through ourselves as well. Oh, great. That's great. Yeah. So once you're familiar with these words now, it is easy to understand that technical term. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well. Yeah. So that's why I'm taking a little bit of time, more time to you know, explain it. Okay. Speech. Even as I said initially also, one time explanation or one time reading is not sufficient. It should be keep on practice. Yeah. You can only yeah. You and, be familiar with that. Yeah. And reading through as well, like, you know, you're reading, yeah? So yes. if we have this this document ourselves, like in, during our free time, you can just go read it through, read it through, and then okay. watch the video as well. That's so it, it will help us to um, to understand better. Yeah, sure. That that will be there. Anytime you can ping me in the weekdays also. Whenever you have the time, I can explain it to you. Yeah. Don't wait for the tiller class. The class will be okay. there on the uh, you know plan or theoretical part or practical part. But in between also, you can ping me to clarify your doubts. I'm I'm there. Okay. Thing. All right, good. Okay, so these are the uh, cyber kill chain. Let me you know, just give you the what is the cyber kill chain. 
so basically it is having the seven stages okay the first stage the attacker reconnaissance the first stage they call it as a reconnaissance reconnaissance nothing but the gathering the information about the organization about the person or about any any business so first he will do the research reconnaissance then he prepared the weaponization he will prepare a script or you know some, some email or anything he will he will prepare weaponized okay is this the product is vulnerable then accordingly he will prepare one beautiful malware then delivering how they going to deliver to through email or through pen drive or or remotely are they going to exploit it on your computer then it comes to exploit okay they collected the information prepared malware deliver it to deliver through the email and then exploit it so after exploiting they need to install on our computer just like a software so the installation has done then they will take the command and control what actions they want to do let's say they want to simply shut down your pc or restart your pc so they will do it why because they have the command and control of the six stage then action on objects the final stage of seven stage they say that okay we compromise some some company or we compromise something you know, we restarted some company server or website we defaced website so depends on his action on objectives of that target so it repeatedly it comes but have you got the clarity when i explain yeah 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 for me uh, that's not really a problem but you know as uh, any other um you know topics we just need to probably read it through again to uh, for for it to sink in properly yes okay yeah america are you yeah, okay I'm fine. yeah i'm fine thank you so same the delivery weaponized it will little bit broadly talk about that stages then tactics and techniques and procedures the, even these things also will uh, when we install the tools let's say if they are uh, trying to get the information through nmap network monitoring protocol or a tool so they will see that what all the ports were opened on your comp your company so using that ports also they can do some you know delivery so tactics what tactics they are using techniques what techniques they are using are they using any vulnerability tools and what is the procedure they are following it so that's why tactics and techniques and procedures ttps so, so it is something like this these are the theoretical theoretical part i will share it to you uh, anyway you are mm -hmm. having the document i believe do you have the document or only that link itself only no we need you know um It's better to have the document like, you know please send us all this document i don't have yeah it. okay okay then i will share it this document to you yeah okay <clears throat> but again adversary is nothing but attacker behavioral identification internal reconnaissance or use of powershell unspecified proxy activities use of command line interfaces or using http user agent or command and control servers use of dns tunneling use of web shell data stacking so these are the behavioral from the external adversary trying from the external adversary activities these are the okay talking about the, what is http http user agent so indicator of compromises so indicator of compromises are you know clues artifacts piece of information so if you want to understand this indicator of compromises basically it will give that through which ip came to our organization let me you know come back to this picture okay what ip address they used what is the domain the attacker used so these are the indicator of compromises ip address even uh, domain name malicious file or in anything so all this comes and uh, all this you know uh, is the attackers compromising things so that's why the indicator of compromises are the clue artifacts piece of forensic data found on the network or operating system of an organization that indicate 
a potential intrusion or malicious activity in the organization infrastructure basically artifacts of the attackers so what ip they used which i domain they used what is the what was the malicious file they used which which product they compromised so these are the falls under indicator of compromises so these are the categories of indicator of compromises email dictators or network indicators host based indicators behavior based indicators okay email indicators are nothing but phishing emails or anything they can send network indicators are are they used you know uh, nmap ips or any host based scanning uh, or network based scanning or behavior analytics are they you know used user activity of login on any particular application so module flow okay so we already talked about information security overview cyber chain concept hacking concept now we are it so what i uh, tell you is now we'll stop it here okay from here i will take you that this is also theoretical only hacking concept ethical hacking concept information security concept so or you want me to complete this one also hacking concept what you say um if it's just theory we can go and read, read we can go and read yeah 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 it's very much uh, theory only as i said like a oh, second uh, chapter second module onwards it comes practical and in the practical also we'll talk about this thing nothing much okay so, then all right yeah. okay so basically see it is <laughs> even listening also we can't do much time your only mind can focus till one hour or at least 15 minutes i mean to believe after that you will go here and there that was sure so when the practical along with the theory is there we can capture something from that okay so from uh, so next class will be 5 pm of yours okay and be ready uh, it will be 2 hours class and even sunday is also we agreed right sunday also yeah, yeah. The yeah. next class is yeah. tomorrow you say it's tomorrow the next class no to no tomorrow say next uh, week tomorrow. Next week, next yeah. week next Saturday, week. and then Sunday. Uh, Sunday. So, if you have time, I will share it to you this document. You just complete first these two modules. If it is possible, information security over you, cyber okay. kitchen concepts. Okay. Okay. If you have time, then go to the hacking concept. Is very much you know theoretical only. Okay. Oh, so again, we'll discuss. You just go through the entire this week to this theoretical part, so that we can mm -hmm. freshly start practical. Okay. Cyber okay. queue. Okay, chat. I will share Let's it to you in the chat. Uh, what's okay. that? Okay, I'm yeah, stopping the recording. Yeah, uh. please, Amit, can if you could uh, 